Welcome back. Next part of Uncharted 4, A Thief's End Deep Playthrough by Romp, my cool YouTube name. Um, yesterday in the last part, um, I tried to stealth this section, or actually the section behind this section. And it was really tough, so I decided to, to call it quits and check a YouTuber, the, the Seraphim, he makes cool videos. Um, he does a lot of uh, high difficulty uh, games, uh, games on high difficulty levels. Um, and to see whether it was at all possible to, to stealth that section. Because sometimes the movie like games like um, these, they just want you to play in a certain way, certain sections. Like for instance, a shootout or a chase. So it, it's not as uh, creative as for instance uh, Dishonored is. Like, uh, you figure out yourself how you want to tackle a level. So uh, I checked it out and actually he didn't uh, stealth that part as... Uh, w he didn't stealth it. He, he went in uh, the, the, the easy route, the shootout. Um, but he did say, I don't think he did that uh, purposefully because he th thought that he couldn't stealth it. It w because he said like uh, this could actually be a cool stealth section so I just I guess he just went through it through the motion because shooting is like the, the obvious thing to do so um, yeah it, it's not like confirmation that you can stealth it but it's also he also didn't say like this part I tried a uh, hundred times to stealth it and it wasn't possible so I went for the shooting out uh, option so uh, I do think maybe it's still possible and I am going to try it a couple of times more. So probably if it gets boring me dying over and over again, then um, yeah, if it really takes too long, I probably I will just, uh, yeah, just shoot it out. But uh, if it gets too boring, just uh, try to skip ahead in the video uh, a bit further and then we will probably be at, uh, at a relatively straightforward section again. But I am yeah, so, uh, I am gonna try to, uh, to go through it uh, on s uh, s the stealthy mode. Sorry if this all sounds a pretty uh, bit confusing and fake. Um, sometimes when I'm, yeah, I, I am a bit fake sometimes, but also when I'm, um, I'm not a native English speaker, so then also my um, formulation is less fluent. So uh, yeah, apologies for that. Okay, let's go. Merda, se riescono a svegliarsela, non ce la faranno. Li troveremo e li riempiremo di buchi. Ma sappiamo cosa fare. Resta concentrato. D'accordo. Come on, bro. Hmm, I have to think again um, where to go. Oh, damn, do we still have to do the fighting section again? No one got a good look at me. I'm just gonna play cool. Stroll right on out of here. Okay. Diary. I thought the safe was way closer oh, by the um, to be back here. by the stealth section. Oh, neither are you. But I'll tell you what, I won't tell anyone. Okay, we already played this. Week. You have oh. something I want, and you're going to give it to me. Really? Well, I'm flattered, but I'm afraid I'm spoken for. If you'll excuse me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in the mood for games. Give me the crucifix. Lady, you're lucky I'm a gentleman. Because if I weren't, I would... You'd what? <laughs> All right, fine. Just remember, 
I didn't want to do this. Let's see what you've got. Nice try. I gave you that one. Come here. Now hand me the artifact. Do you know how many artifacts I've collected over the years? <laughs> You're gonna need to be more specific. Let me see if I can clarify! I look. I'm still a little jet lagged. How about we just call it? Have you had enough? Or do you want to keep being a smartass? You know, you're breaking a lot of expensive stuff in here. If you're not careful, they're gonna kick us out of here. Alright, wait, wait! It's in my back pocket. Where is it? Right there! Just met your friend Nadine Ross. She's lovely. Yeah, well, there's total chaos out here. They're trying to keep it contained, but everybody's freaking out. I don't want to rush you, but hurry the hell up. Yeah, hey, yeah. Take it Good easy. Question. You? By the ballroom. Look for this round sign thing. It's on the way. Round sign thing. Check. Good news is I got a gun. So no, no, no. The no. quinta parte. So. Okay. I'll meet you at the driveway. Just head towards the ballroom. All right. See you there. Come on, Nate. Hello. Already. Jesus Christ. Okay, this is where we left off. This is where the stealth section begins. And it's it's super hard. This first part, yeah. If you if you saw the last video, you know exactly what I mean. This first part is is pretty okay, but. That next part, you will get noticed like... Okay, and that was also a new one that never happened uh, yesterday. That he came all the way over there. And it's also annoying that it, it defaults, because we have to reload a lot. It defaults always to the, yeah, to the first save. I don't understand why it doesn't default to the last save, like that one. But yeah. Okay. Here, it's so annoying. It's 
seriously. But hopefully Perseverance will win the day. That was my stupid mistake. You see, it, it's it's. I don't think it's possible. If you if you hit that grass, even if they don't look at you, if you hit that little uh, grassy area, shooting will erupt every time. And also, if uh, what I will try now is if you um, go b b shimmy along the not the grassy area but the the little ledge ledge over there. You will also be always noticed here in this part. If you just do like this, there's nobody there to see me, right? And again, immediately puff, they come r rushing through. So it really, I don't think it's possible by the way. I don't think it's possible to do this uh, stealthily. Yeah, I'm being a, a, a bit too impatient, I'm rushing forward, but I have to replay this so often that it's so annoying just to wait out all the, the, the routes they're taking. So I was just trying to see if it, I could just speed it up. Because also waiting for people's routes doesn't even make it that much clearer because you you really have no way of telling where they are looking at so each move you make it's just like a gamble Okay, here you will see again. Yeah, maybe if I climb on here. No, you see? It's 
super freaking frustrating. Okay, I am just gonna check out the internet one second, whether it's at all possible. Because this is really too big a waste of the time. Um, uncharted 4. Uh, how does it? Okay, I don't know what the name of the level is. Italy Stealth uh, Auction Okay, let's see Lights out You come to an area with tall grass in a courtyard area, quickly rush into the tall grass. Okay. If Nate is in tall grass or very close to tall grass while performing stealth care, he will hide the body. Yeah, okay. That's so even the stealthy uh, uh, walkthrough on the internet says you have to take guys out. Yeah, that's actually what I would want to try to avoid. Move up to the set of stairs. Go to view the building. Sam, where to Nate? Get behind the nearby plant with. Once you make it to the tall grass, some more guards will appear from the staircase on the other side of the walkway. Allow both of them to enter the area and wait for the one in the back to turn his back to the other that steps through the tall grass, then stealth kill the first and then sneak up on the second. There's a, yeah, okay. Stealth. None. Lee. By the way, uh, this is super boring to watch. So uh, if you, uh, yeah, I understand it, it, this is a waste of your time. Then uh, if you still do like the, the playthrough, just skip, uh, let's say 10 minutes ahead or so, or maybe even longer. Uh, once I, I uh, yeah get past this section, because I'm just checking out still. Yeah, this is indeed, this is a Reddit post, what I fully agree with. Uncharted Force, Nathan Drake, mass murderer. That's also why I want to do it stealthily. He is already stealing something from an auction house and uh, as well snapping everyone's neck and killing everybody carelessly. That's just one bridge too far for me. I mean, unless you're being shot at, but if you're not being shot at, I wouldn't like Nate to be the aggressor. So let's read this post. <coughs> Playing through chapter 6, oh that's way further, in Uncharted 4 makes me feel like Nathan Drake is a bad man. Like, I get it that it's self-defense when people are shooting back at you, but sometimes feels off playing a thief who is confront confronted by security guards at a private auction, ah, it's actually the same level, then killing all of them. Like, hey, I'm here stealing this expensive item, and I'm a lovable husband and nice guy hero, but yeah, you're all gonna die. Even attempting the option of silent takedowns results in a crack snapping of the neck. Jeez, man, chill out. Can't you just karate chop them or Vulcan nerf pinch them or something? These poor guys are just paid security. Possibly many of them are law-abiding citizens, ex-military doing their job, and I must, I'm just capping them all like they're scum. Maybe it's possible to sneak by all of them and not shoot back yet, still get away. 
I realized at this point in the franchise storyline Nathan has killed so many hundreds of people, he's a pro killer for sure. More confirmed kill than Agent 47 and Sam Fisher combined. Perhaps there were some other non-guilty guys he's murdered throughout games 1, 2 and 3 and I've forgotten about it. Thoughts? Uh, yeah, I'm, I fully agree with that dude. That is actually the reason that I uh, yeah, am trying to, to stealthily get past this section. But False alarm. Here. Here, he cannot see me, right? And uh, so it's just not possible. I will try a couple of more times, and then it's uh, yeah, it's over. I really, really dislike this game design. Indeed, also what the guy wrote. Nate is supposed to be a good guy. He's supposed to be a lovable uh, husband. Hmm? He's stealing shit and he's snapping everybody's neck. And the, the player, they cannot take any other um, approach. And that is just simply bad game design. Sorry, Naughty Dog. Okay, this is of course also uh, a way to deal with it. Just run past them, I will just do that. But it would have been so much cooler just to uh, to do it the stealthy way. Okay, fuck this shit. At least I know a way to get by pretty easily. Also, why he suddenly gets alarmed? That's so stupid. God damn it, Nate. This is just a simply a super frustrating part. Yeah, of course. I've already been here standing for like five seconds and then suddenly you get uh, alarmed. Makes sense. Jesus Christ, man. Oh, 
Okay, but now what? There are a lot of them. That's the annoying thing. I can do something, but I will be seen so quickly. There's a dude, there's a dude, there's a dude. There is a dude. Okay, my plan is... Can I make that jump? I think so. God damn it! Also, the controls, they are so loose. There's no like Dark Souls precision in your, your player control at all. Jesus Christ. Yeah, sorry. It's a super cool game, but this is really one of the most freaking annoying parts of the game that I've played in a long time. Not, not counting certain parts of Death of the Outsider, Dishonor 2, which was even more frustrating, but god damn it. Of course, it's all part of gaming, so you have highs and you have lows. So I certainly don't mind. But still. It's just freaking bad game design. Here. All at once. It's just a trigger. Has nothing to do with skill. And that's what you get when you play like uh, Jesus Christ. Nate fucking hell, motherfucker. And the annoying thing is waiting here, knowing that the next part will be just as random as this part. And I simply refuse to kill guys when I am the perpetrator to start with. These are indeed simply security dudes. Why the hell? Do, do you see my hands? There's not even a line of sight. The, the roof is, the, the incline in the roof is uh, blocking your vision to my hands. God damn it. Literally. Fuck this part. Luckily tomorrow it's um, the weekend, so I, because I am a pretty stubborn, I do want to uh, try to succeed, so then I will have more time. Because now it's already indeed again late during the week.
how the hell does he know where I'm at? You know what? I'm just gonna sprint through this whole part. Fuck it. That's also an option. They, uh, it's, it's n doing it stealthily is not an option here. I will just uh, book it through here. False alarm. What I could do is simply uh, melee some of the guys. I mean, knocking them out, I don't have a problem with. I have a problem with snapping their necks in a stealth kill. So the two guys that uh, I bumped into in the other little area, we I could just brawl them. Hey, I, ca I can just run over there. Come on, mate. Fuck me. That was actually uh, also an option. Can't I just go a totally different route? Hmm? You see, it's it's all so scripted. It's a bit too much script in my book. Okay. Going there and then maybe a bit down. I don't think I can reach that ledge, but maybe I can. It must have been a sticky grenade because it wasn't really like a, a level uh, roofing. It should have dropped off the grenade. Okay, can he see me? No, he cannot. And you see, he couldn't see me, but they get triggered anyways. This is, this is like going back to like the Commodore 64 times uh, era of gaming. 
I mean, how hard is it for them to such an indeed attractive location for stealth to implement multiple ways to get through this little part? That is, that is like so restrictive. This. No, we need you to shoot them. We need you to kill them, because you're a good father and a husband, and that fits your profile. Of course, Nate. Sure. Why not? Why not? Why just uh, not climb uh, over the little ledge and just fully expose stick to the window besides it? Oh man, it's so annoying. Nate, come on, please, help do yourself a favor, man. Okay, my plan is to get on the ledge over there and then jump to the... So... Almost to the ballroom. Nathan, I'm pinned down in here. You can use a hand. On my way, Sam. Okay, at least we got through uh, those annoying guys without killing them. Let's check a bit for collectibles. Lighting is amazing again. So um, yeah, nice that I can focus on those kind of kinds of things again instead of that annoying, <laughs> super annoying stealth st stealth wannabe section. It's just crazy how you how the developers expect you to simply out of the blue start killing guys. Oh good. I mean if if you're like hitman, fine. But if you're Three guys over there, eh? Not one, but three. What the fuck do you expect me to do? And again, I am not going to kill them, so this will also be probably near possible to complete. Oh, 
Holy shit, that, that windy sound. Is that that bush over there, the trees? It, it sounds more like a, like a big flag or something. Oh, over there they are. Of course, why not? Un attimo. Si è mosso qualcosa lì. Sì. Man, I'm almost giving up on this game, seriously. Ah, okay, I, I just could have, I just as well could have taken the stairs, that was a bit stupid of myself. Okay. I th oh no, it yeah, that are the stairs over there. Hmm? Oh, 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 oh. I can't just take the stairs. But why the hell is that cart over there then? Normally, it, yeah, it's, it serves a purpose. Not here, apparently. Now there's also only one guy. Jesus Christ, they're everywhere. Where do I need to go? That's maybe also a good question. Is, can I use... Ah, I can use that wire, I think. So I need to get... Uh, probably on top of there. Not really possible with that dude uh, standing. Yeah, damn it, Nate. Okay. Alright, here we go. Jesus Christ, Nathan! Hey, how's it going? I think I'm done with this option, huh? Oh, yeah. Me too. Yeah, 
No more uh, bullets. What the hell do you want me to do without bullets here? Okay, brother, it's up to you. Maybe that guy left some bullets. Come closer, dudes. Okay, that was that. The shotgun did have quite a good range after all. I didn't expect that. And you see, n now killing guys, I don't really have such a big problem with. Sorry, but I have to check for um, 
collectibles as always. We're not here just for fun. Well, actually, we are. No entry, authorized personnel only. Okay, see you later, auction house. Was this actually the auction room? Yeah, I guess so. Pretty nice hole. Also, the chandeliers, they are moving actually. That's pretty cool. I wonder if you can shoot them down. I actually heard from uh, the Seraphin uh, uh, dude who uh, makes the videos, playthroughs, that indeed you are actually way more vulnerable behind cover compared to other um, uh, Uncharted games or, or any game in uh, general for that matter. Because normally you could really, if like, a, uh, like an enemy is like where that le left purple plant is, you could um, arc the the angle and get shots out while you are still behind cover. That's not possible. Apparently the game lets you, even if you're fully behind cover visually, you're still sticking out a bit. So you are way quicker uh, vulnerable from uh, enemy fire. For enemy fire and that um, yeah I don't know if that's a good thing feels maybe a bit cheap but it's of course meant to keep the action going I understand that but still Yeah, where to, dudes?
my brother can hit him. I, I don't seem to be able to hit the sniper. He's not that far away. God damn it, man. I sure hope I don't have to replay this whole fucking section. Yes, of course we do. This weapon simply refuses to fire very often. Oh shit. Oh crap.
Why can't we hit the sniper? So there's also still a guy over there somewhere. At least the sniper is down. That should be the last one. Still not, god damn it. Man, I could have just booked it to the car straight away, I think. I hope I don't go to hell for this. Shit. What? It's empty. What? Oh, you're such an <laughs> asshole. It's your brother. All right, skull and crossbones. Very good sign. Damn it, Signia. Eris in paradise. Today you will join me in paradise. It's what Jesus said to Saint Dismas on the cross. Right. What about these numbers here? What do you make of this? Some kind of code or a phone number. Come on. The dates. Huh? Look. 
1659. It's the year Avery was born. 1699. Let me guess. The year he died. Well, uh, by most accounts, yeah, but it means we have date of birth, date of death, and paradise. Which means we're looking for Avery's grave. St. Dismas's Cathedral. <laughs> Wait a second. Hasn't Rafe been scouring that site for ages already? Yeah, the cathedral. See these symbols? Yeah. These are found on old Scottish gravestones. Right. Right? Now, look at this. The layout of this place is really unusual. Uh. Here's the cathedral. But the graveyard is way over here. Rafe's been focusing on the wrong area. Exactly. Guys, we're going to Scotland. All right, all right. Wait, wait up. You do realize that Rafe knows you're coming. Yeah, we can deal with that when we get there. But that psycho would like nothing better than for you to show up. Plus, he's got Nadine and a whole army to back him up. Yeah, but he doesn't have this. The biggest pirate treasure of all time is within our grasp. I thought this was about saving Sam. It is. Well, come on, it's both, right? <laughs> we need the treasure so we can save Sam. How is Elena cool with all this? Jesus, kid. Look, it's just not that simple. With all that you two have been through together... She wouldn't understand this. You are not giving her enough credit. I can't take that chance. <clears throat> Nathan, he's right. But things have changed. Rafe's involved now, and... I can, I can take this on my own, really. Great. Well, thank you for your input, both of you. Excuse me. Hey. Hey, it's me. Yeah. Now the reception's lousy. Something on your mind, dear? Look, I, uh, I realize it couldn't have been easy. All those years away. And I'm sorry for what happened to you. <laughs> but it's not his fault. I never said that it was. It took a long time for him to get out of this game. You see a gun to his head? He chose this. Okay, he's meant for this life. <clears throat> you really believe that? Why are you here, Victor? Because somebody's got to keep an eye out for him. You know, I'll just see you in a few more weeks. Yeah. I will. Okay. I love you too. Just told her that the job was going to take a little longer than expected, which is the truth. Right? So come on, what do you say? Sam could still use our help. Well, <clears throat> I do hear that the weather is particularly fine in Scotland this time of year. No. Rafe's really going all in, isn't he? Well, they're all concentrated around the cathedral, so that's good. Because we are going to have that graveyard all to ourselves. Sully. Yeah? Hey, listen, we're good to go here. Okay, kid. Happy hunting. Nice chance to come with. Yeah, well, unless you can find me an escalator, I think I'll pass. <laughs> all right. See you in a few. Uh, hey, Nate. Yeah. Just, uh... Ah, uh, just bring me back something shiny, will you? That's the plan. Well, let's go pay our respects to Captain Avery, huh? Scottish Cathedral. Strange place to bury your treasure, no? Uh, not really. I mean, by the time Avery would have sailed here, the place was already abandoned. I guess that's true. Plus, with the massive bounty on his head, it'd be a good place to hide. So, uh, what happened between you and Rafe? Nah, I couldn't deal with him. I'm pretty sure he'd had enough of me. I was still coming to grips with your uh, death and with his frustration from not finding the treasure. I'm pretty sure he was ready to kill me by the time I bailed. <laughs> Imagine what he want to do to you now. Yeah. <laughs> Trying not to. <clears throat> Sam, listen. He's ruthless. 
I mean, even more so than when we teamed up with him. I mean, I've heard stories. Trust me, me too. All the more reason I don't feel bad about any of this. A Brahms war. We. So is it just like you remember it? Of the cathedral grounds? Yeah, pretty much. Although it's been so long, it's a little hazy. These crane explosives. I think stealing the cross might have made our boy Wraith a little nervous. <laughs> yeah, just the tad. Oh shit. Oops. Watch out for slides like that. That's the lesson of today. Is there anything good to get here? Maybe over there? Yeah, there is like a... Holster and unholster your weapon by using... Okay, fine. There is stuff lying around there. This is probably what they meant with more open areas. It's pretty big. And there is like a rope thingy. So that's probably the way back maybe. But there's certainly is stuff over there that we could check out. But how to get down there without dropping to our death? Is this a jump we can make? Yes, it is. Hey, this should hold. <coughs> the hell is all this? It's excavation equipment. Shoreline? What? Look. I thought they were just by the cathedral. Man, those guys are armored, it looks. Jesus Christ. Okay. We're good. Yeah. For now. Nice to meet you too, Shoreline. Seems like they were expecting us. And like they're searching away from the cathedral. Which means we should get to that graveyard pronto. Exactly. But I do want to get back where... Beyond the cathedral? Oh, we did. A little. But this place is so big. Without knowing where to look. It's like shooting in the dark. Or like blowing shit up in the dark. You think we'll just find a tombstone that says, Here lies Henry Avery, loving son and notorious pirate. Yeah, I doubt it. I don't think he'd go through all that trouble to hide his tracks just to put his name on a rock. Uh, okay, that's probably where we have to go, but... There was also a big part. I thought we were now just going into a, like a side path. 
Well, actually, I think this is the main path, and I would like to get back to where we started because I have the feeling that there were uh, multiple collectibles still there. Also, if you see, I guess, or not. Yeah, we are missing a lot. Eh? Here, I got the bronze boar, but there are three ones in between that I probably missed. I was hoping we could get back up with that rope. Please let that be possible. No, it's not. Right. Annoying. Why didn't you guys search beyond the cathedral? Oh, we did, a little. This place is so big, without knowing where to look, it's like shooting in the dark. Or like blowing shit up in the dark. It's good for replayability, like you have to run through the game uh, another time, but I think it's again bad game design. Please, people, let me go back to the. the you think we'll the, just find a that says, Here lies Henry Avery. This is just Henry like, like a 50-50 chance. Like, no, okay, I will well, take. Go through all that trouble to hide his tracks just to put his name on a rock. For a relative completionist like myself, this is like super annoying. Because you just have to go with what you think is the side path to be able to get. All the paths. I don't think we can get back up there, but that was a huge area over there. That man, this. Not that sure if I like the game that much. To be honest, there's too much half-assedness going on. Like it's not stealth. It's not a full-out shooter. It's it's open, but it's it's also not. Yeah, you don't have any really freedom. Actually, not at all. And that's not bad. But come on, there are things like like being able to to look into a nook and cranny of the whole level. I don't even think it's that hard to implement. They should just get some kind of. Um, rope attachment place uh, 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 placed over there that you can get back and maybe it has to do with the the like the loading of the the level that, that, that they can clear the memory if you if the game knows you cannot go back there but still there must be some way around it <laughs> restart no i want to restart further than the checkpoint Man, I must say, it is pretty annoying, everything. that I'm gonna replay all that no way I thought maybe the save would be closer to the end 
That's also really weird. That the last save, yeah, probably it was overwritten with this one, the last one. That it would be all the way back in the in that auction level to uh, yeah, that stealth section. Okay, so now we missed out on uh, yeah, I don't know, uh, maybe a lot, maybe not, but I I don't know, and that's that's a bit of an yeah an open-ended feeling like unsatisfactory but yeah maybe it's just me being uh, retarded <laughs> probably it is okay guys um yeah I, I, probably you noticed i was a bit uh, moody today um uh, also uh, yeah not helped by in my view uh, a couple of bad game uh, design choices like the stealth level that you cannot stealth um yeah, of course I'm playing it on crunch difficulty, so that that like you 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 get killed easily. That's of course my own choice. So that's that's not it, but it also doesn't help a lot uh, when you're like already a bit uh, moody. And then of course this this whole Scotland uh, level that that you start off in like this open wide area. And uh, you think ah nice exploring for collectibles, and you think ah we'll take this little side path and see uh, what I can find there and then continue on the main path. And then that is the main path and you're not uh, allowed to backtrack to the wide open area to search that further. Because probably the game wants you to go, uh, the majority of the, uh, the players will go in the wide open area towards the cathedral and they will find the collectibles uh, on their way. And then afterwards, it 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 but it dead ends and then you end up in the little side road that I went in uh, uh, directly. So because I wanted to go against the stream, like checking first every little uh, side thing, that is actually yeah what the developers doesn't don't want you to do. They want you to go with the the general flow of the story and the the level outlining, level placement. Yeah, and then you end up with uh, yeah that whole area being locked off if you uh, maybe too soon um, yeah go there and you miss out yeah a, 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 yeah not big probably but some part of the game and probably a couple of collectibles and yeah the, I don't like that really much but yeah so um, it was not the 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 most uh, cheerful uh, uh, can do uh, um, uh, episodes but the next one surely will be so i hope to see you there and for the meantime yourself always uh, i mean as always never forget keep on gaming see you later